Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the new shed that is finally done. I did do a video on the actual shed and I've done some other videos on different stuff I've done to the shed. Uh, once I got the actual structure built, then I started moving on to a overhang. Uh, this video is going to be on how I did the overhang and how you can put a overhang on your house or shed, any, anything really. Uh, but the shed I did, this thing is 12 by 24 and the overhang I did is 16 by 24. So I'm going to go over some pictures and tell you how I did it all. So the first thing I did was I needed three posts. So I dug three holes. I did get uh, this really neat post hole digger that mounted on my tractor. And I dug these three holes in like seconds. Really nice. If you don't have one, if you need some holes dug, you need to get one. Very nice. So I dug my three holes. I thought about doing uh, pouring concrete and making brackets for the posts to like bolt to and all that stuff. And I thought about it and I was like, I just get the, the blocks for the posts to sit in. There's no big deal. I mean, it's attached to the shed. It's It'll be all right. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, then I got my, found out where the holes needed to be, dug the holes, put the brick, the blocks in there and used transom and figured out how deep I needed each hole to get them properly lined up. Then put the posts in, got those to the right length on each because this whole entire lot where this uh, shed was, was on an uh, incline. So I had to get that right. Once I got my uh, posts in place and all right, I put uh, some two by fours and nailed them up so they would stay plumb. And then I went ahead and put the brackets on top and these brackets on top of the posts are post to beam brackets. Uh, and so I had to make a beam that went all the way across uh, all three posts and I used uh, two by six uh, boards for this. Uh, two two by six sandwiched together all the way across for the 24 feet. So I made my beam, put it in place and secure the beam to the post with the brackets. Then once I got to that point, I moved on to the other side of the overhang, which is up against the shed, and I put a, a board all the way across the front of the shed, and I was in the middle of putting the vinyl siding on the shed, and I stopped before I got up there so I could do this and work my siding around that. But I figured out where my studs were and my roof rafters were on the shed already built and then was uh, sure to nail this board that I've got all the way across there, be sure to nail into the roof rafters that were on there. So I got the board all the way across. Then I'm gonna put the rafters up against that board and they're gonna sit on the beam on the other side. And once I got to that point, I was able to start working on all the rafters and they all had rafter hangers on them as well. On the sh side with the shed, all of them had rafter hangers. And then on the side with the post, I put like rafter tie downs strips on each one. So the rafters were secured to the board on the shed and they were also secured to the beam they were resting on as well. Then once I got all the uh, rafters in place and all the hardware installed, I was ready to go ahead and start putting the plywood on for the roof.
And then once I got all the plywood done, I started moving on to the shingles. And I do have shingles over this whole entire roof, so I got all the same shingles, which for just me and a hammer and roofing nails took a long time. It was a pain in the butt, but I did it. So I got the same shingles over the whole entire roof, over the shed, and over the uh, overhang. So it's one big roof. And I did, if you haven't done roofing before, I did get a uh, rolled roofing, not rolled roofing, roofing felt that I rolled over the whole thing before I put my uh, shingles on. It's just a water barrier type thing. So I got my roofing felt on and then all of my shingles installed. And then once I got all of my shingles installed, I was ready to start working on putting lights up in the overhang. I had lights. This is the old original shed. I had the lights up in here. Once I got this done and closed in, I ran more electricity over here, put these lights in. Then once I got the overhang done, I went ahead and ran electricity over there and got lights in on the overhang as well. And then once I got to that point, the whole thing was pretty much done. I mean, I've got uh, 24 feet by 28 feet, 12 by 24 shed, 16 by 24 overhang. I am so glad I did this. I loved how it turned out. Uh, everything now is completely done. I did a video on this, this actual shed. Now I'm doing a video on the overhang. I've done a couple other videos on different stuff I've done. Uh, so if you got any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, consider getting subscribed to the channel. I do do a lot of videos like this, so be sure to check all those out. And if you haven't yet, uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram too, because I've got a lot of stuff going up on there that doesn't actually uh, make it to YouTube videos, stuff like that. So be sure to like, comment, get subscribed, check me out on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time.